Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another draft site tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, do you know what the third most frequently used command is in AutoCAD? It is layer. And look, if I can't make you feel comfortable using layers inside a draft site, you are gonna pack up your bags and get out, and I don't blame you. So this week, I wanna show you how easy it is to use layers inside of draft site, all right? Have I got your attention? All right, so first off, you're gonna wanna know, how do I get to the layer manager? Hello, gotta know how to do that, right? So to do that is very simple. I'm on the home tab on the ribbon, and in the, in the layer section right here is layer manager. Wait, it doesn't say layer manager, it says layers manager. All right, so uh, slight difference, a whole character, we will not charge you for the extra S. <laughs> also, I did tell you that draft site speaks AutoCAD, so if you prefer to type it in at the command line, no problem, you can type in LA. That will also take you to the layers manager. The choice is yours, it's up to you. And then now let's take a look at this dialog box. All right, the first thing that you're gonna notice is we should feel pretty comfortable because there are a lot of similarities, but check out those grid lines. I love the grid lines. It makes it so much easier for you to see all the different properties for the layers. It's very, very clear. Okay, I was a, I was a math major, so I do have an extra love for grid lines, but come on, these are awesome. And you'll also see the same four tools in the upper left-hand corner of the layer of the layers manager. You'll see new and VP freeze and a delete for deleting layer and then activate. Wait, activate, there's no activate in AutoCAD, Lynn, you are lying to me. That's actually setting a new current layer, which I think it actually makes more sense, doesn't it? You're activating a layer and setting it current. I mean, look, all my layers are current. They're all with me. They're all hanging with me right now. I'm current, they're current. <laughs> anyway, so it's the same thing. I think you'll be able to you'll be able to handle that. I know you can. The best part, oh my gosh, I don't have to learn new icons because there's text under the icons. Hallelujah. I love text. I can read. I know you can read. I love it. Upper right hand corner of the screen, you will see there are layer states. Okay, that's normally on the left hand side of the AutoCAD dialog box, but I want you to notice that they use the entire the entire layers manager real estate for your layers. They get the space they deserve. I love that. So right hand corner, I'm totally fine with that. They're not taking anything away from my layers. If I click on there, you'll see that it's very easy for me to go in here and define new layer states to delete layer states, save them so I can use them in other drawings and things like that. Love, love, love that. Now, this is not a lesson on layer states. Maybe another day, another time. But I'm hoping that you're using them. They're very valuable. Basically, they allow you to take a snapshot of your existing layer settings so that you can quickly call back to them at another time. It keeps you from wasting your time constantly flipping layers on and off. So, layer states. CAD gurus use layer states. So let's try this out, Lynn. Show me how it works. Stop talking about it, show me how it works. So let's say we wanna create some new layers. So you and I both know that when we create a new layer, it will duplicate the properties of the current the activated layer, am I right? So right now zero is the current layer. So let's say maybe I want a columns to be the current layer. I can go ahead and click on activate and now that is going to be the current layer. Just so you know, you can also do a double click, which is what I tend to do to make that the current layer as well. The choice is yours. So now I have this A dimension as my current layer and of course you guys know you can, you can space these out any way you want to. Um, you can make the dialog box bigger too as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on new. And by default, it calls it layer one. I'm gonna change the name to Fred. I don't know why I'm always obsessed with the name Fred. <laughs> too many Flintstones or something growing up, I don't know. Maybe my childhood friend's name was Fred. Maybe the man of my dreams is gonna be named Fred. I don't know. So there we go, I made three layers. Fred, Fred, Fred two, Fred three. Now, inside of AutoCAD, I will say, I don't know if you know this or not, because this is kind of top secret, but you can, uh, at the end of any name, if it, when you create a new layer, you can do a comma, it will automatically allow you to create another layer, which I do all the time. So I would have done Fred, comma, Fred two, comma, Fred three, comma, I could have done very, very quickly. Uh, you cannot do that inside a draft site. You actually have to keep going up and hitting new, which is, I, is kind of a bummer, but uh, 
I bet you most of you didn't even know you could do that, so you're not going to miss it at all. Um, but, you know, I am going to whisper in the product manager's ear and see if we can get that in. And they're so nice. I bet you they do it. They're so nice. So uh, is there a def points layer? Of course there's a def points layer. We cannot live our lives without a def points layer. So just so you know, that's in there. And filters are in there. You can create new, fil add a new group filter. You can delete filters, so on and so forth. Those are in there. Uh, you have control whether or not the status bar displays in use status. I don't know why you wouldn't. I want that on. And you'll see that when my new layers, my Fred layers, it will automatically show that there's not, they're not in use. There's no objects on my brand new layers. Of course not. Um, and you can decide if you just want to display the layers that have objects on them, the all use layers, my Fred layers went away, and so on and so forth. All right, I'm going to actually display all of them. And then, of course, very, very important, you want to apply that current filter to the layers toolbar. That's really the layers drop down list, right? Uh, I think that's super important. So I believe that everything you need is in this layers manager. You should be, be very, very comfortable in here. A nice, it should feel nice and warm and cozy in here. You can get your jobs done for sure. And while you're getting your jobs done, you can think of what are you going to do with all that money that you're going to save? What will you do? Okay, I'm going to say okay to get out of here. And then just to show you, of course, the layer drop down list. And there we have it. There are my new layers called Fred, Fred, Fred 2, Fred 3. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is just part one of layers. We, we know there's a lot more to the land of layers than that. So I'll come back in a, a two or three weeks and we'll go over uh, the, the, other, the rest of the land of layers so that you feel completely comfortable so that you can feel satisfied making that move over to draft site. Now remember, you can download the trial for free and try it out for 30 days. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Try it for yourself. And uh, meanwhile, I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to find myself the seeds for that money tree that I've been talking about. I've looked for the seed packets. They're very hard to find. Okay. Thank you for your time. And I am going to see you back here in a two, three, a few weeks anyway. Have a great rest of the week.